All right, we're gonna give it a few minutes, let everyone join in. Probably a lot of people, you, a lot, probably a lot of you guys are fishing right now, out there in the nice, calm weather. Man, I hope everyone can see me. I have very minimal um, connection here. Only one bar. What's up, guys? What's going on? All right, there we go. Can you guys hear me? Yes or no? Let me know, please. Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? What's up, guys? How's it going? Man, I'm, I'm actually disappointed in uh, the people that are in this live stream right now. I expected you guys to be on the water fishing. Why are you not, or why are y'all not fishing? I'm fishing. Why aren't y'all fishing, man? There's like no winds, right? I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> uh, what's going on? What's up, Lalo? What's up, student Luke Gonzalez? What's up, Tony G? What's up, Joe? There we go. What's going on, guys? Yeah, man, I'm, uh, I'm on the kayak. I'm trying to catch some fish, man. Uh, the bite was good. The bite was good earlier. I'm not going to complain. Um, but it's absolutely just slowed down. I'm just working the shoreline right here. Look, I'll show you the shoreline. Check out the shoreline. It's a nice looking shoreline, isn't it? <laughs> uh, man, yesterday we had some bad, bad weather, man. How many of you guys, you guys get, did anyone get flooded? Did any of you guys get flooded? I hope not. Uh, it almost nearly flooded in the area I'm, I'm at, uh, but, uh, Everything's okay now. Uh, a lot of fresh water. The water is very, very dirty. Uh, it's supposed to be actually absolutely pretty clear in this area where I'm fishing today. But uh, no, it's uh, very murky, very dirty. So let's see here. Here we go. Uh, I appreciate that, student Luke Gonzalez. Um, I appreciate that very much. Oh my God, look at that red right there. Look at the red. Let's see if we can get him. It was cruising right there. Oh, dang, I missed him, dude. That was a redfish. I saw his back and everything. You guys are distracting. <laughs> it was a rat red, though. He wasn't a big guy. I threw her bugs and uh, a little bit too late. But uh, let's see here. What's up, guys? Give me a fishing report, man. Let me know what y'all been catching. Anyone been catching anything? I caught a few things, but I don't want to give it away right now. I'll let you guys watch the video. Uh, but yeah, man, uh, it's an excellent day of fishing for me. Uh, it's just, uh, it's slowed down a lot right now, and I'm just trying to work the shoreline with my bugs. What's up, Sloshy Joe? But yeah, uh, Big K, thanks, man. I appreciate it. I need the luck because I'm not that good at fishing. I need as much luck as possible. Yeah, I wouldn't even bet myself if I was in uh, Vegas. Where am I? That's a good question, man. I'm in paradise. I'll be honest with you, I, I am in paradise. Let's just put it that way. Let's see here. How's the wind? Uh, the wind is really good, as you can tell. I mean, can you guys hear any wind noise? There's really no wind noise right now going on. It's uh, super nice. I can't complain. Beautiful day to fish. That's why I'm disappointed in all you guys out there. Why aren't you, why aren't you guys out fishing why are you on this live stream man i honestly expected zero people to be watching <laughs> uh. looks calm but forecast shows strong winds uh, there well there's really no winds right now going fishing later there you go that's my man that's my man sloshy joe that's what i want to hear but yeah what's up guys Water looks dirty, man. I'm telling you what, it is freaking dirty, dude. This water that in this area I'm supposed to be at, it's supposed to be pristine. Let's just put it that way. It is not pristine, man. I think a lot has to do, oh my God, that was a red right there. Dude, that was a nice red. See, once again, guys, you guys are distracting me from fishing. And I'm not able to catch these redfish, man. They, the big old red, I don't know if you guys can see it, but right over there, you left a big old mud mark. And I missed them. Oh, well. That's fishing for you, right? <laughs> but I still love you guys. Thank you so much for joining. Let's see here. How's that? Is that better? Is that a better view? But yeah, man, what, what's been going on, fellas? Uh, back to my question. Have any of you guys been flooded from the storms? 
I hope not. I hope everyone's okay. Uh, it was quite a bit of rain and it was all the Dallas people's fault. They brought the rain down all the way to the coast. So what's up, Robert? What's up, Winx World? Winx World, my bad if I butchered that. Yeah, it's hard for me to see the, the chat, but you guys keep chatting, okay? I'm gonna answer as many as I can. Um, but yeah, man, I'm just, uh, I've been, I, I had a pretty good day. Like I said, I, I caught some good fish. I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but uh, I think you guys will be quite surprised. Let's just put it that way. And it's not the regular stuff that you see me catch on the channel. Let's just put it that way, okay? But um, yeah. So did how many of you got? Did did anyone that win the dang T-shirt contest here is is on the live stream? Any of you guys? I picked six random winners. I sent emails. I only got reply back from like three guys. Uh, so make sure you check if you are a winner of the t-shirt, uh, the Old Town t-shirt. So, um, gar not, there, there ain't no gar back here. You would think, you would think there's gar, but there's no gar. Trust me, there's no gar. Yeah, this, this area I'm at, it's, uh, it's pretty. Never win. <laughs> I know how you feel, man. I never win too. I never win, man. I don't even win a dollar from the scratch off tickets of the lottery, uh, but I still play. How stupid is that, right? <laughs> it's like the concept of, yeah, man, I think I can win. You know, I, I, I really feel like I can win, but you know, it just doesn't happen. But yeah, man. But you go, you keep on playing, right? You gotta play the game. You can't win if you don't play. That's what they say. And I keep playing the lottery too. And I'm not winning. But, uh, so why are you guys not fishing again? Someone told me y'all had like a family get together or something. What, what else is going on? Those contests are rigged. Nah, man, what are you talking about? They ain't rigged. Well, I mean, I don't know how other, other YouTubers do it, but when I, when I do a contest, I randomly pick and it's only first try each try. Um, like for example, the six t-shirts that I gave away yesterday, I randomly pick six pe people until I hit all the sizes and they're all gone. So it's not rigged. I'm telling you what, it's, uh, it's fair, fair and square. I, I, cause I, if I play a game, I want it to be fair on my end or if I want, I want a good chance to win if I was a contestant. So, you know, how I do it, you know, it's, um, it's pretty fair, man. It's pretty fair. When am I hitting up Surfside? Uh, I'm gonna hit up Surfside soon. Uh, just not right now. I can't hit up Surfside right now because I am in paradise. But uh, it's absolutely beautiful here where I'm at. I'm just working the shoreline. Uh, I'm just blind casting. Lots of bait as usual. Uh, yeah, the water is nasty, man. I'm telling you what, it's, it's not as, it's reason why it's so nasty because of the range yesterday. It dumped a lot of rain. So the water is, you know, going to be even murkier than before. And then on top of that, it's muddy bottom. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, if you live in Galveston, you know what's up. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Is the water cold out there? No, it's not cold. It is 80 degrees. Water temp is 80 degrees. It's very shallow where I'm at. Um, it's like less than a foot or right at a foot depending on where I'm at and look that there's a wake right there. Holy crap. Cast right. Oh, that's a perfect cast. I bet you it was just a big horse mullet. Yep. That was a horse mullet. False advertisement. Sorry guys. <laughs> but that was a big wake though. There's some big horse mullet back here. They're so big. They kind of trick you because they, they, they leave a big, big wake. Uh, and you think it's redfish, but it's not. It's a big horse mullet. I hate when that happens. But yeah, man, it's such a good day to fish, man. I wanted to say what's up to you guys and um, see if you guys have any questions. Sunrise topwater bite. Yes, that's a good point. You never see me do it because I miss the sunrise. I'm always out like at 9, 9 a.m. 
Uh, and I guess technically you can still use the top water if it's overcast, but you know, I just, I just, oh my, oh my God. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a big mullet. Let me try to catch him. That was a big mullet. Did you see that mullet, guys? <laughs> that was a gigantic mullet. My God. Anyways, um, what's up, men? What's up, my guy? How are you? Glad you can make it in. Why aren't y'all fishing, man? That, that's that's the million dollar question today. Is how come you guys aren't fishing? Why am I the only one that's fishing? Shouldn't you be? Shouldn't you guys be on the water? Look, there's 50 people in this live stream, and hopefully one of you guys are on the water fishing while uh, watching this, right? Any of you guys fishing? Catch and cook, yeah, soon. <laughs> Excuses. <laughs> yeah, that's life for you. It's always excuses. But uh, look what I'm using here, guys. Got the bugs, flats bug. And that was a big mullet. Flats bug with the slabalicious micro-sizing because the bite has completely just turned off. Let's see if I can catch some reds or anything that wants to bite this lure. It's just been really slow right now for the past, I would say about hour and a half. So yeah, just uh, that's why I'm saying what's up line casting and doing uh, this live stream. Where's Mark at? I'm not sure. I think uh, he's at home. I don't know where Mark's at. Hey, what's up, Beto? What's up, big baller? Big money, Beto? My man, Beto. All right. Yeah, so... Uh, not much bite, man. You guys think I should catch some mullet? When am I going to San Luis Pass waiting? You know, I, I wanted to do that for a while, honestly. Um, it's just because of coronavirus, the beaches were closed. Uh, but now that I know that they're open, I expect that I will go soon. Today would honestly have been a perfect day to go wade fishing. Um, it's just, I'm just not in San Luis Pass <laughs> area. So uh, I can't wade fish. But uh, live shrimp on a popping cork, man. I've absolutely slayed it. Wade fish in that area. Great place to wade fish. If you guys are new to the channel and you want some wade fishing spot, San Luis Pass. Did I ever fish Campano Bay? Is that's, uh, that's in Rockport, is that correct? Campano Bay. Uh, you know, I, I think I might have a long time ago. I tried to wade fish it but I sunk in the mud. It was not fun. Uh, this was way, way back. Um, but kayak fishing, no, I haven't done it, but I know there's some good fish back there. Uh, 30 miles out, I think he fishes there a lot, so. Yeah, right? Yep, yep, Nick says yes. Campano Bay, that's in uh, Rockport. Beautiful area, no doubt. Uh, actually, there's a couple videos I made where I'm sight casting redfish in Rockport and it's pristine. The water can be really, really nice, really pretty, like a blue-green. Not the stuff that you see in Galveston and Freeport. But man, isn't this pretty, guys? I mean, look at this, look, look at this. Can you guys see that? Look how pretty it is. So calm and nice with all this beautiful nature around us. And there was a blow up over there. I'm not sure what that was. Hold on, let me investigate. And there goes my battery too. Oh my God, hold on guys, there's something over there. Something is blowing. Okay, let's see if I can reach him. Something is blowing something up up there. Let's see if I can show you. Like right over there, it's like a blow up see here I don't know what that was it was pretty significant yeah probably a little bit too late anyways but uh, yeah let's check out this little cove in here it's like a little cove right here let me show you guys got a little cove let's see if there's any fish here kind of fish it it's super shallow, man. I mean, I'm like fluttering my pedal drive. 
So that's why uh, it was a hard wake, but I guarantee you that's a freaking mullet. Gosh, don't you guys hate mullets sometimes? I honestly hate them sometimes. I think they're annoying. And um, I don't know, man, they just, they just, they seem annoying sometimes. Don't you guys agree? Like sometimes they can really mess up your day, especially in uh, shallow water. And uh, you have so much mullet. And it's like, I, I know I've repeated this many times, but sometimes it's like a domino effect where they just, one goes off and then everywhere, everywhere else it just goes off. And it's so stupid. And they freaking, they freaking destroy your, your opportunity to sight cast something. And that's how it's been this lately. Yep. Nothing here, just mullet. All right, sorry guys, I must have missed, uh... oh my God, Beto, my man. What are you doing, bro? You got, <laughs> oh my God, dude. Oh my God, Beto, dude, please don't do that, my man. But thank you so much, I do appreciate it. Beto, you, you the bomb, man. I appreciate, I appreciate guys like you that support the channel the way you do. I mean, it's, uh, it's definitely, definitely good to have people like you on the channel, man. Thank you so much, my man, thank you. Yeah, back to this. I'm trying to chase this mullet right here. There's a big old horse mullet right here. I want to see if I can hook him. Yeah, he doesn't want my lure. I guess it doesn't look like doo-doo. Right? Doesn't don't mullet eat doo-doo? Like bottom feeders. Yeah. What do mullet eat, guys? Do you, any, any of you guys know? Any of you guys know what a mullet eat? Because I have no idea. Oh my god, there's a big that's got to be a big mullet just having fun over there. I mean, the area that I'm at, man, these mullet are literally like, I, I, I mean, I, I mean, they're like two feet long, dude. They're so big. That's a definition of a horse mullet. And they trick you so bad. You're like thinking, man, that's a fish right there. But it's not a fish. It's a horse mullet. Anyhow, so what's up, guys? Beto, my man, dude. Thank you so much once again. <laughs> I don't know. Tell me, what do mullet eat, guys? Do I have any uh, marine biologists in here? Tell me, tell me their diet. What is it that they eat? Because I have no clue, man. Uh, I mean, they don't eat shrimp. They don't eat my lure. Sometimes I snag them. That's the only way I can catch one on a lure. Uh, other than that, man, I, I don't know. What do they eat? I'm thinking they're like tilapia. They eat doo-doo. I'm not sure. But, uh... <laughs> My man Beto. <laughs> they eat mud. Bottom bottom algae feeders. Okay, that makes sense right there. Algae, okay. I'm pretty sure there's plenty of algae here in the marshes. That's for sure. Although, uh, with the rising uh, heat, I imagine it's going to kill it off. I'm not sure. Sorry guys, if I miss your comment, I'm not trying to be rude or anything. It's just, it's hard to see because the sun is directly on it. They mostly eat algae. Okay, all right, so a couple people have said that. All right, um, so yeah, guys that just came in late, welcome, welcome to the live stream. Uh, I'm fishing, obviously you see me on a kayak. Um, I, I had a good day so far. Caught a couple of nice, nice fish. Uh, started a little bit late, um, but uh, it's, it's slowed down a lot right now. The, 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 the heat is picking up as in weather-wise and it's warming up the water temp significantly. I'm here in a backpack lake that's uh, super, super shallow. I'm just see if I can find any kind of hard wake or blow up any redfish. And uh, I see a bunch of mullet, big mullet too. Not the small dudes, but the big dudes. And uh, so far, no luck. So I may turn back around and head to the drain and channel. 
croaker is much better eating than mullets. I would uh, probably agree with it. I've never had mullet, but I've heard, I've heard people eat mullet. Have you, have you guys tried mullet? I've never tried mullet. And it's something I probably wouldn't want to try anyways. Just doesn't make sense to me. Who's here? Who's here uh, has tried mullet? Don't be shy, man. Come on, we'll forgive you. All right, what I'm trying to do, guys, is uh, I only I only use mullet for bait. Yeah, there you go, man. That's that's that sounds reasonable to me. Um, I'm trying to freaking catch a fish on a live stream, which I've never ever ever done before, and it's really not happening right now. All right, I'm gonna turn back around and work that stupid shoreline all the way back, and then uh, call it quits. Let's see here. Like I said, I apologize, guys. I'm not, I'm not avoiding y'all's, uh, um, your messages. It's just I really can't see, and they disappear so fast. But uh, we got something too strong in here. I appreciate that, guys. 72 of you guys, they are not fishing, so I'm disappointed. You guys should be out in the water right now and not listening to me. <laughs> Where am I? David, good question, man. I am in paradise. That's all I can say. I am in paradise right now. This is an area that uh, it's been on my radar. Let's just put it that way. And uh, I'm just having a lot of fun. I'm trying to catch fish. That's all I'm trying to do. Today, it's just been a tough day though. Um, catching fish, a lot of the guys that I've talked to around this area, uh, there was a group of five kayakers that came through. Only one of those guys caught a fish, <laughs> five dudes. That's, uh, and they're all spread out, hitting different points, different areas, like a team. And they have walkie talkies, they're all, talk, all talking to each other. Uh, but one dude caught a fish. That just shows how tough it is today, despite being a beautiful day. Um, I think, like I said, a lot has to contribute with the, uh, the fresh water that's been poured upon the coast and the great state of Texas recently. Uh, it's made the water very murky, very dirty. So why am I not fishing with Mark anymore? Uh, I don't know. I just, we just have different agendas sometimes. I mean, he does his own thing. I do my own thing. Okay, this, that's weird, guys. I, I don't know what's wrong. Some of you guys are like bipolar. Okay, first, when we start fishing together, y'all say we, we, fish, we fish too much together. And then when we're not fishing together, you, you guys say we don't fish enough to, with each other. So what is it, guys? Why are you guys so bipolar? Y'all need to tell me, what do y'all want? Y'all want to see us fishing together or y'all you, you, don't want to see us fishing together? You gotta make up y'all's mind. Cause I can't go, I can't do this back and forth thing. I don't like it when you guys are indecisive. So tell me, what is it that you guys want me to do? And I'll do what you want me to do. How's that? What is it you guys want me to do? Tell me, come on, I'm waiting for the comments. We like the Mark and Nick do. Okay, Slashy, I appreciate that. And I, 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 I enjoy fishing with Mark as I know he enjoys fishing with me, I think. Um, but it's just like, uh, you know, I, I work full time. And golly, what the heck is that blow up there doing? I think it's like mullet. They're like being so stupid. I'm gonna cast over there anyways. But anyways, it's like, uh, you know, I'm busy, he's busy. Um, you know, it's just, it's hard to sometimes coordinate a schedule. You guys know that. If you try to, uh, if you try to fish someone, fish with someone and uh, they have a different schedule than you. I mean, it's, it's hard, right? Beto says yes, <laughs> my man Beto. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna fish together. I mean, we just gotta find time. That's all it is, guys. There's nothing wrong. There's, uh, I mean, I, I have, I have an agenda. He has an agenda too. Uh, most of the time, we like to fish with each other because, you know, when we do, there's uh, safety in numbers, obviously. Um, but uh, just, you know, our our schedule hasn't coincided for a while um, for for other reasons. It's just he's busy and I'm busy. I have, I have a family too, so with young kids, so it's, it's kind of hard. And I work full time. Did he catch anything yet? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you mean, simple dish. Anyways, so yeah, like uh, I am here in paradise. I can't tell you where I'm at. It's kind of a surprise. 
I will release a video soon. So just stay tuned. I just wanted to say what's up to you guys. Hope everyone's doing well. And uh, maybe you guys can help me try to catch a fish today. Give me some pointers because I suck. I'm an average fisherman, man. I just, you know, I get lucky. Um, I've blind cast about a trillion times and out of those trillion times, I'll catch one fish. So I get lucky. I just played a numbers game, you know? Yes, I did the giveaway. Check it out. I did a random, I did the random names on uh, commentpicker.com. Pick six names. I commented to them. And uh, if you didn't get a uh, comment or a response or a notification, and perhaps you didn't win, but uh, guys, whoever won, please, please email me so we can get it straightened out and I can send it to you as soon as possible. So, yeah. Oh, but what a gorgeous day, man. You know, honestly, there's one thing I forgot to bring. I forgot to bring the beer. I should have brought some beer. How many of you guys bring beer when y'all kayak fish? Can Simple Dick cook a mullet? Man, I don't know if she's ever done that before. I don't think she would want to because they stink. And plus, there's not, there's not enough meat on them. <laughs> I don't want to eat doo-doo. You guys want to eat doo-doo? <laughs> yeah, there we go. People are commenting when I talk about beer. You guys are crazy, man. You guys drink beer when you kite fish, man. I can't believe you. I can't blame you. Not believe you. I can't blame you. It's something I wish I would have done today. Brought some beer because it is freaking hot out here and I haven't caught a fish in about two hours despite being really pretty out here. But uh, yeah, I should have brought some beer. I'm like getting dehydrated. I did bring some water though. Beer and fishing. You only drink beer when you catch fish. Well, man, then that means if I did that same mentality, I would never drink the beer because I don't catch fish. <laughs> Well, I think I'm going to, I guess the game plan now is to work my way back to the canal and fish that canal again and try to work the mouths uh, where the bait are concentrated. I think that's going to be the smartest thing to do because right now in this back lake, there is absolutely nothing. I just see horse small. I did see one redfish, but since I was doing a live stream, you guys are my, my main priority. That's why I didn't catch them. <laughs> How far out are you? I am pretty damn far. How deep is it is in here? It's, uh, I would say, one foot or less. God, these mullet, man, they think, they think they're redfish sometimes. Uh, the guys that keep asking me where am I at, I am in paradise. That's all I can say. I am in paradise. Oh, man. But I'm going to be out here for a while, man, because, uh, you know, I don't have the opportunity to come out in this area and fish much often. So I will, I am going to be out here for a while. I'm going to grind it out. And then uh, hopefully we can get you guys a nice video to watch, right? We're grinding it, baby. Grinding it. That's how we do it on the channel. We grind it for dinks. And horse mullet. Paradise, yes sir, we are in paradise. It's just paradise is empty right now. <laughs> catch some big ones. Yes, Dennis, I am trying to. Uh, and I did catch some big ones earlier. Let's just put it that way. It's just, it's just turned off all of a sudden. As you guys see right here, I am using my Scorpion, Shimano Scorpion BFS reel, along with the Old 18 suppressor. Oops, backwards. Old 18 suppressor, ultralight, with the RX Angler logo on it. Check that out. That's what I'm using. Why am I, why am I not home with my family? That's a good question, man. You're going to make me feel guilty. My power pole fell off. <laughs> Uh, well, this area, you know, I wanted to bring my power pole, but there was a obstacle that prevented me from 
effectively bringing that power pole, so that's why I didn't bring the power pole. God, this these mullet are stupid. The mullet blowing up right here, right in front of me. Like, I don't know what's wrong with them, but there's what the heck is this? Something black here. Oh, there we go. We got a fish. Just joking. It's oyster. <laughs> I want to see if you guys got excited. There we go. Got out of that oyster. Did you guys, did I trick you guys? <laughs> I even pulled on my rod and reel to make it sound like the drag is engaged. Yeah, sorry, I didn't actually post a video um, for the giveaway. I just did six random name drawings from commentpicker.com and the six names that came up with the different size shirts, they won and I already commented on their comment. So if you didn't win, I apologize. But no worries, guys. There's gonna be more giveaways, okay? Trust me, you don't wanna miss the giveaways. Especially uh, as bigger I grow, uh, sorry, what does it say? In your opinion, does kayak fishing make you a better angler? Um, I don't know, man. That's, that's, that's a good question. Um, but I do know that kayak, ang kayak fishing gives you more opportunities than if you are weight fishing or bank fishing. Let's put it that way. Now, if it makes you a better fisherman, I, you know, I, I don't know. That's hard to say, man. Um, that, that's really hard to say. I, I, I would think not. Um, because the way you become a good fisherman is experience on the water and just experience different conditions, different situations yourself, learning to use different lures, um, understanding the fish and their patterns. Uh, that, in my opinion, makes you a better fisherman. Um, now, can a kayak get to that? Kayak, can a kayak, which is a tool, get you to that level? Absolutely. Uh, but have I seen kayak? kayak fishermen that are not good anglers yeah i've run into them um but you know it, it doesn't really as long as you're having fun man and uh you're enjoying the great outdoors um and uh you know you're just you're just really enjoying the god's creation i think that really all that matters you know but uh i mean i like i like making these videos i like catching fish but at the same time you know and there's a big one i'm gonna try to catch this mullet here at the same time, I enjoy the outdoors. I don't know about you guys. The drag on this reel sounds like plastic. I don't know, you gotta talk to the Japanese people. They're the ones that made it. This is a JDM reel, so it sounds like it. I think it's just the way it's designed. It's called, in Japanese, they say it's called exciting drag. Oh, there you go. Got back from uh, San Luis Pass, a smacks we're good, dude. I love catching smacks, man. Congratulations. It's been a minute since I caught smacks. Such good fish to eat. Uh, I'm glad uh, I'm glad you guys had us. Did you, what'd you catch them on? Live bait? Once I get a battery for my autopilot, will I be getting rid of the Hobie Outback? You know, that's a fair question. And that's something that most likely may happen. I just need to make sure that I get more time on the water with the autopilot. But so far, the time that I have spent with the autopilot, it's been um, it's been a pleasure. Uh, it's a damn, damn good fishing platform. Um, it, the only drawback to it is, well, the two drawbacks right off the bat is it's a big platform, so it's, it's heavier. And number two, you need a power source, a battery. Uh, whereas if you had a pedal drive, a manual pedal drive, you don't need no battery because your body is the, uh, the, the, the energy, um, you know, you're putting your energy into the, the drive itself, a manual drive, uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, the features that it has like spot lock, um, autopilot feature where you can just lock your, core, you lock your direction, hit that button, it'll just take you straight there no matter what. Uh, the different speeds, um, I mean, it's, it's a nice kayak and it could get pretty damn skinny, believe it or not. Uh, if I had the autopilot right now, uh, even though, look, as you guys can see, I am, can you guys see I'm fluttering my Hobie right now? With the autopilot, uh, it, it would actually go through this mud and uh, with no issues. 
So it could get pretty damn skinny. So. So yeah, so if I had the autopilot, I definitely would be, uh, I'd, I'd be using it more. Um, it's just I'm waiting on that battery as I explained earlier in my video. So that's, that's what's going on. All right, so back to the beer thing. I'm curious, what kind of beer do you guys drink when you're on the water? I myself like the light stuff, like the ultra light, because uh, if I drink too much, I get a headache. Uh, <laughs> did, you know, did you know guys that Asians are kind of allergic to alcohol? Because I don't know if you know this guy, this is a nerdy part of me that's gonna come out, but we as Asians, the majority of us have a enzyme that's lacking. It's called uh, aldehyde dehydrogenase. We don't have that enzyme. So that's why if you have Asian friends and they drink, they all get all red. And that's what happens to me. And if I drink too much, I get a splitting headache, a really, really bad headache. And I don't care if that alcohol is uh, 18 year old single mom McAllen. It still gives me a headache. So um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's something I bet you guys didn't know. Aldehyde dehydrogenase, that's the name of the enzyme that the Asian people are missing when they drink beer or any kind of alcohol and their face turns all freaking red. But I love beer, man. I mean, it's one of those things, it's, it tastes so good uh, and I'll drink it no matter what. But anyway, sorry guys, back to the, um, back to the, uh, the point, uh, what kind of beer do you guys like to drink? I like the Michelob Ultralight. You guys think I'm a wuss for drinking Ultralight because uh, I feel like it's more refreshing. I get super red. <laughs> my man, you know how I feel, man. Welcome to my world. Uh, I like I like Michelob Ultra Light. What do you guys drink? Any beer will do. Okay, there you go. Not a picky one. That's what I'm talking about. Modelo salt with lemon. Jesus, man. Are you joking? Man, that's going to dehydrate you really bad. All that salt. Cost beer. Oh, someone is bringing out the Korean beer. Oh, huh, interesting. You like that cost. That cost beer is pretty good. Where am I at, RX? I am in paradise. Free beer, where? Who has a free beer? You know, I was thinking about having a, uh, having a meetup. You guys wanna have a meetup soon? Uh, but it's gonna be a beer drinking meetup and not much fishing. So what I was thinking about doing is uh, invading Christmas Bay off the Amigo Lane launch. And then someone brings, everyone brings a case of beer each cold okay not hot and we all just drink and get drunk what do you what do you guys think is that a good idea or not what's up matt how are you how are you man welcome welcome so do you guys think that's a good idea bringing beer out to christmas bay and just drinking and ha not doing much fishing abita amber after you know i actually never had drank that beer i know i know about abita because they had they make a i think they make um a strawberry flavored beer. It's seasonal. It's in Louisiana, right? It, that, that's pretty delicious if I remember. Um, bring a pit. Yeah, man. Someone bring a pit. Bring the beer. Let's party. So what do you guys think about that uh, subscriber meetup? Beer drinking. But you got to be of age, okay? You can't be under 21. I'm going to be carding everyone. And if you're under age, you're not allowed to drink beer. And I will strictly enforce that rule. <laughs> there you go strawberry lager yep you know what i'm talking about that's actually some pretty good stuff man and i don't really like flavored beer i'm down arthur vera my man my man arthur i appreciate that <laughs> yes sir beto you here beto are you down for a uh a subscriber meetup and we just drink on, at Christmas Bay. What do you think, buddy? Yes, any excuse to share a good beer with good people. I agree, man. I agree. Tequila. Ugh. Man, call me what you will, but I cannot take tequila. I've had some bad experiences in college with tequila. I mean, I'll be honest with you, man. I used to be a party animal in college. Um, there was one time I got so messed up. Well, okay, two times I got so messed up with, no, three times I got so messed up with tequila. Um, 
it blacked me out and I don't remember exactly what happened. That's how bad it was. <laughs> Man, I don't know how you guys can drink hard liquor on the water, especially when you're sweating and you're dehydrated already. That's just, woof. You guys got some tough livers, man. But not me. I'm Asian. I'm lacking that enzyme, aldehyde dehydrogenase. <laughs> Tequila makes anyone a good dancer. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. <laughs> Anyways, I'm joking about the meet up and beer drinking. I don't, I don't, I don't support that, okay? But if you want to meet up and you want to drink your own beer, you know, more power to you. That's your decision. No, no liquor. I mean, I'm telling you what, man. I, I don't know how you guys can take down like Crown Royal while you're uh, out here in the middle of 100 degree weather. That's just, ins that's insane. Man, where are the fish, guys? Have you guys been uh, doing well? Let me hear what your fishing report has been, especially, except that one dude that said he caught smacks at St. Louis Pass. He's the only one that's catching fish. Anyone else here struggling? Because I've been struggling. Did I catch anything? Yes, I did catch some stuff earlier in the morning, but right now it's died down. The weather, the I think it's slack tide too. All right, Matt Fryer bought some hollow points. My man, there you go. I only drink Crown naked in my pool. <laughs> That's TMI, my friend. That's TMI. Oh, Keller Bay, huh? Keller Bay's been pretty good. Yeah, Keller Bay is a great place to fish, guys. If you haven't gone to Keller Bay, you need to hit it up, man. That's a great place to go sidecast redfish. Hardhead at Seabrook, huh? God, that sucks, dude. Hate those hardheads. Lactose intolerance. Yeah, that sucks, man. If you're lactose intolerant and you're on a kayak. I tell you what, man, that really sucks. And uh, you're surrounded by mud. <laughs> There's no way you're getting out of your kayak. When you drink, you go streaking, huh? huh. Interesting. TMI, man, TMI. Hey, three 27-inch reds, man. That's a good day, buddy. Much better than I'm doing. I need some fishing lessons. Or I'm at the wrong place. But this place is paradise, guys. I'm telling you what, man. Where I'm at, it's, it's, uh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, no doubt. Just very shallow. Man, this is not a good streak. A live stream, my first live stream that's live on the water and I can't catch anything. That's, that's not making me look good. Once again, sorry guys, if I'm missing your comments just because it's, it's hard to see. You're going to Destin, Florida. Caught a bluefish, nice. Uh, if I miss your comment, I apologize. It's, it's, I'm, not, I'm not ignoring you. It's just I can't see and they, it disappears really fast. So yeah, I guess uh, just keep, it, keep repeating your comments, okay? One day I'll see it. Who's behind me? I don't see anyone. <laughs> That's my friend Javier. I just met him yesterday. Nice guy. That's who's behind me. See, I, I'm a nice guy, man, when I meet new people. Uh, and they want to fish, you know, I don't mind. You know, I'm not a snob. You know, I don't mind fishing with other people. It's good company. You know, you pick up some new tricks too sometimes. And uh, fishing can be good. And there's a lot of bait here. Look at all this bait, guys. Look at all this. You see all this bait right here? Look at it. They're being stupid. Let's see if anything if anything's underneath, underneath them. All this bait right here. God. See, this is what annoys me, is all this bait. But 
Nothing want to eat those doo doo eaters. <laughs> All right, man. All right, guys. It's been about 50 minutes already, and uh, I really haven't caught anything or proven anything to you guys, so I feel bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, man, uh, I just want to say what's up to you guys. It's a beautiful day. I'm just fishing back here in this backpack lake uh, with no results. And uh, maybe next time, who knows? But I'm going to head back to the canal, that, the entrance, rather. And uh, See if I can catch some fish over there. Dang, that's a big osprey. Huge, huge osprey. Just came down and is trying to pick up that mullet. I guess they like to eat doo-doo eaters too. Wishing you were fishing. Yes, my man, you should be fishing. Once again, we have 80 people in here and I don't know why 80 of you guys are not fishing. <laughs> it makes no sense to me. Honestly, when I started this live stream, I was like, man, there ain't no one going to be on this live stream because everyone's fishing. It's such a nice day. But lo and behold, I got 80 dudes. <laughs> uh, 80 dudes coming and uh, commenting. But I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're hungover. Okay, there you go. That's a good excuse. Yes, Beto, my man. I Once again, thank you, my man. I appreciate the big support you give to the channel, Beto. I, you know, Without you or people like you, especially... You know, it's, it'd be hard to keep motivating myself because YouTube is tough, man. YouTube is really tough. Uh, if you guys have ever tried to run a channel, any kind of channel, it don't even matter, fishing, cooking, whatever, gaming, it's tough, man. It's, it's tough to garner an audience and to keep pushing content so YouTube recommends you to other people. It's, 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 it's a tough thing to do. And then when you have people like you, Beto, and the other hardcore people that watch the whole videos, you know, I appreciate all that. I really do. So, so now we got 90 people, man. Why do we have 90 people on here and none of you guys are fishing? Why is that? Oh, hey, here's another quick question, guys. I wanted to ask you, um, do you think, do you think there should be a discount code for bugs? I'm really curious. Do you guys think there should be a discount code for Bugs Fishing Lures? Let me hear your answer. Yes, yes. Only got two yeses out of 90 people? I guess y'all don't care, huh? Okay. Yes, yes, okay, there we go. What pistol do I carry? I actually carry a 300 Blackout short barrel rifle, pistol, um, Daniel Defense, and uh, red optic. It's in my bag. It's a pretty good, it's a pretty good pistol. The reason why I wanted one of those is it has enough firepower if a boater is coming right at me and they're trying to run me over, two in the chest and they're down, and two in their hole and they're down. So that's why I have a 300 blackout. Yes, thanks Beto. Thank you for your support, brother. Once again, I love you, brother. Thank you. I'm sunburned from fishing yesterday. <laughs> You're a liar, man. It rained yesterday. There's no way you went fishing unless you went fishing in the rain. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. I think that's going to be it. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I apologize. I couldn't catch a mullet. They're dookie heads anyway, so who needs them? Oh, my God. See, these mullets are stupid. All right, guys, that's going to be it, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one, all right? Take it easy.